Right. Well, this next fucking mountain of horse shit is Black Hole. And this is one of the games that I remember from uh, having this back in the day. Uh, and I remember it for two reasons. Firstly, that by Cassette 50 standards, it's somewhat playable. Somewhat. Uh, but also, well, I'll see what, let's uh, get the uh, thing started, and oh, bollocks, start the, uh, and then we'll warp it so that it will load a bit quicker. So, while it's uh, searching for it and then uh, loading it. Uh, not that long ago, I did a review of uh, the game uh, The Equalizer. Where the title made you think you knew what you were expecting and then when the game came along, it was absolutely fuck all uh, to do with uh, what the title had you uh, think it would be. This is another one. Black Hole. What would that make you think uh, the game is about? Well, perhaps unsurprisingly, when I uh, first got this and I saw it uh, listed as the game title, I was expecting some sort of sci-fi based thing. I didn't think it was going to be based on the film The Black Hole. Uh, but yeah, I was expecting some sort of science fiction thing with, uh, you know, spaceships and probably probably a, a space shoot em up or something. And, uh, yeah, maybe a black hole somewhere nearby, sort of. That's what I was expecting. And I dare say that quite a few people who got this uh, back in the day were expecting something similar. One thing is certain, none of us were expecting what we got. The title Black Hole, and then it tells us what the game is about. Poor old Woodstock's fallen out of his tree again, and being his pal Snoopy, you have to help him back up again. What do you mean you can't fly? You've got the latest Acme Corporation jetpack. So get on up there, but mind those apples. If you miss him, he will descend into the deep dark well at the foot of the tree and be lost forever. So, the black hole. You are Snoopy and you're trying to get Woodstock back to the top of the tree. Black hole. All right, let's get a game underway. And for some reason, the uh, sound isn't working. There is sound in this game. There we go, All right. So you heard it when the uh, apple hit us. You only get one life. So let's try again. There we go. So when you catch Woodstock, the uh, border flashes, and now you have to get him up to the uh, top of the tree. There you go. And now listen to this great music.
Hmm. So that fucking apple was going all over the fucking place. So, um... Yes, this is... Get up there for the second time. So this is... Black Hole. Why the fucking hell is this called Black Hole for fuck's sake? So because there is, well it's described as a well, so because there is this big black hole here, that's, that's why it's called the name. Now, you can't actually fall down the black hole, if you head down there, I'm still moving down but that's as far as you can go and Woodstock never actually falls in it so the black hole itself is a complete non-event and it doesn't need to be there even if you completely leave Woodstock alone he never actually falls in it he just keeps hovering around well, he's, that's how I remember it. Yeah, so he's just hovering around there. So you go and pick him up anyway. And, you know, all right, if you're going to make a game about Snoopy and fucking Woodstock and that, okay, right, yeah. Why has Snoopy got a fucking jetpack? Now, like I say, this is, by Cassette 50 standards, somewhat playable. I mean, it's it's not fast. I mean, you just look at, you know, how well uh, Snoopy moves around. And there there is no animation on any of the sprites at all. Um, but, I mean, the bottom line is, as I say... It, compared to a lot of the games on cassette 50 it is actually playable but the title and I just I, I what the fucking hell was the cunt who wrote this thinking when you know he'd finished the game and was trying it out and thought the best title for this game is unquestionably Black Hole because you know you just see that title and you instantly know what the game is going to be about what a fucking load of arse that's I mean, if we list the program, compared to uh, a lot that's in uh, Cassette 50, there is a reasonable, actually no, there isn't a reasonable amount there, there's hardly anything there. So, on the shitometer, um... And there, as I say, there are far worse, and it is quite a rarity to have a Cassette 50 game with this level of playability. That's not to say that it is a highly playable game, it fucking well ain't, but uh, there's a lot more here than the vast majority of uh, other Cassette 50 games in it. But... Uh, because it has such a fucking cuntish title that just defies belief, it's still going to go, you know, a good way up on the shitometer. So I score this 55 on the shitometer. Um, yeah, what a fucking 
load of shit. Right, what's next? 